When you want to go, let me know. I'll be right here. Seer, can you feel the force at all? Yes. But instead of opening up, I push it back down. The exact opposite of what you should do. Out there, I remembered something about myself before the purge. It was painful, but like I found a piece of myself. That's good. You're learning to embrace the Force again. How can you say that? Because I know what it means to live without it. Okay. I'll keep trying. BD-1, keep an eye on Cal for us. Time to go? Great. Hate sitting around like this. Must be hard watching all your friends get gunned down. I mean, you know, purged or whatever. What? It helps to talk about it, right? No? Yes, it was difficult. But you must hope, not forget. We must remember the mistakes of the past and change things going forward to make sure they never happen again. Sounds like you're not too sure everything is gonna work out. I'm not. That's why adaptation is important. Whether it's a course of action or an idea. We all have to be ready to change. We're about to drop out of hyperspace. Sit down. Think of a storm brewing down there. This might not be the best time to land. Eh, something strange. Those winds are interfering with our comms. Hey, Cordova mentioned something about peace in the eye of the storm. Well, I can just make out a settlement in the middle of it. Then we have to get there. Copy that. Oh. Couple bumps ain't gonna kill you, kid. <laughs> Unless the wind picks up. Can you tell that bucket of balls to keep his opinion to himself? I'm sure everything's under control. Because it's under control, it's just a little tricky. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh. Huh. Perfect landing. Crazy money, baby. Uh, but I'm still getting a lot of interference on the comms. It's gonna take me a minute to get them back up. I'll search for signs of Cordova in the meantime. Good. I'll be in touch once I crack this. Cal, over here. Oh, no. The more information we gather on Cordova and the Zepho, the closer we'll get to stopping the Empire. I've heard of ancient cultures, but don't know much about them. I only knew that Cordova was obsessed with the Zepho, believing their teachings to be important. I, too, was intrigued by the mysteries of our galaxy. You better get moving. There's a lot to learn here. Good luck. I can see you two have been through a lot. It's not easy. No, it's not. But I think of those who believed in me at one point. If I give up on myself, then I give up on them. I'm sure you have a few of those. Prof, a uh, friend on Braca. He sacrificed himself so I could live. He believed in you. A lot of people depend on you, even if they don't know it yet. Keep going, Cal. For Prof. For everyone. Edie wants a helpful droid. He does seem to be warming up to you. Cordova must have really liked droids. He decided to leave such important information with BD-1. I only assume he chose BD-1 because he needed some sort of ability to store encrypted information. These exploration droids are good tools for that sort of thing. But I'm sure he's more than that. Please, I'm trying to collect my thoughts. Good work. Oh, we did it. I hope you're not hurt. What are you looking at? Who are you talking to? Uh, just my ship, the Manus. 
Good name, right? Intimidating. Oh, what do you know? You've probably never even flown a ship. Maybe I'll teach you one day when you're done with your Jedi stuff. I'll even give you a discount. It's dangerous being on the run, huh? You're telling me. You lose someone? His name is Prof. Traded his life for mine. Sounds like a tough, strong guy. <laughs> Not far from myself. He was. Since the day I stepped foot on Braca, he watched over me. Never complained. Never complained? On that trash heap? I just hope he didn't do it for nothing. I never do, kid. I never do. Nice landing, Grease. Me? Oh, yeah. Not a problem. It's easy for a skilled pilot like myself, especially when flying a ship like this. <laughs> this baby was a steal. <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't, I didn't steal it. I bought it. Well, I sort of, I almost. I mean, I took out a small loan. <laughs> Alone, actually. No, it's fine. Look, we're all fine. Don't don't worry about it. Don't, don't you have Jedi stuff to do? Get to it, kid. What do you want? You're up to something. <laughs> Nothing gets past old Greasy. I'm watching. Watch out, BD. Don't look friendly. Oh? Cal, can you hear me? The Empire. They found Zeppo. If they were following the Mantis, we would have been swarmed already. Could they be looking for the tombs? Let's hope not. Just got our comms working. I'll try the same workaround to crack into theirs. Check it out. Well done. You seem happy. Enemy down there! 
I'm ready for this. One. Hey, BD One. Just checking on you. Looks like a problem. One of the Zepho. Guess we're on the right track, huh, BD? We've 
found the Jedi! Get away from him! Get a shot! Get! Move it! Dial shit! Yeah! Marching again? Seer, there's a transport ship leaving the Empire's base. I heard. They plan to bring Zepho artifacts to Coruscant. Does that mean? That the Emperor is interested in Zepho? Maybe. BD-1. I can't push it. something?
With the Emperor's will, we've occupied Zepho, redistributing its inhabitants. This planet has failed to yield significant data or relics for Project Augur. Its electromagnetic winds have rendered the bulk of our mining technology useless. Meanwhile, more stormtroopers lose their lives to dangerous fauna. We will not be able to fulfill our directive here. It is my recommendation that we disband the project and leave a token outpost to keep scavengers from stealing our technology. Found something. What do they know? No mention of Cordova. I don't think the Empire knows he's been here. Then we have the advantage. For now.
That's interesting. We're on the right track. Holding up okay? Good to hear. Can't get through. There's a storm up ahead. Something about it crippled the Empire's equipment. I can feel something pulling me there, beyond the storm. Follow it. Let the force sharpen your instincts. All right. I'll do my best. Going, BD1. Huh, another one of these. Wonder if they connect. seen a storm do that before. Yeah, it's incredible. My friend, I believe this to be the earliest Cepho site we've uncovered yet, despite my reservations. I cannot chase the Bagano Vault from my mind. Its vision shaped the direction of an entire culture. I must understand why. Tomb. It's massive. And the Empire? No sign of them down here. What about Cordova? Still not sure what I'm supposed to find. He's a little... Eccentric? Tell me about it. But he wouldn't send us here for his amusement. Keep an open mind. Hey, do you see that? <laughs> Ugh. for the help.
Lightsaber can't solve everything. <laughs>
What's this? Focus. The Jedi do not seek aggression, but we stand against it. The Force is there to shield us. The obstacles in your path define the path. What stands in the way becomes the way. Now, try again. <sighs> Good. Continue. Faster now. Complete the test. It stands in the way. It comes the way. I did it. My friend, take a look at the detail on this park. The distinctive striations. It can only be a Rosha tree from Kashyyyk. It's time to call on an old friend. If the Zepho had contact with Kashyyyk, there is a good chance Chieftain Tarful will know about it.
my friend. This tomb is utterly fascinating. Find. The Zephyr went to Kashyyyk. Cordova mentioned someone named Tarful. Ah, a Wookiee chieftain. They were old friends. Think he's still around? There's only one way to find out. We have to go to Kashyyyk. BD-1. I'll get after 
capture him. Tracking target. Okay, back there, BD-1.
Hey, BD-1. Nice work out there, kid. Hey, you got some real moves on you. <laughs> Just tell me that this visit wasn't for nothing. I found the tomb of a Zepho sage. They definitely used the Force. An advanced civilization of Force wielders who mysteriously vanished. No wonder Master Cordova became so obsessed with them. What else did you find? Before they disappeared, the Zepho journeyed to the planet Kashyyyk. Oh. Cordova had a Wookiee friend named Tarful. Maybe we can find him. Sheik, I look, things are really bad down there. The, the Empire's muscling in on those Wookiees big time. Then we better get ready for a fight. Uh. I think this lifestyle suits you. Fighting that walker seems to have made you more confident. So, how are you holding up? I mean, with the Force? Yes, with the Force. I know you said it could be overwhelming. I haven't gotten myself killed yet. I'd rather not talk about it. Yeah, well, I understand. More than you realize. Oh, why'd you choose to stop using the Force? When the Purge started and our clone troops turned against us, my Padawan and I took several younglings and we went into hiding. But we didn't last long. Imperial Patrol was about to discover our location, so I tried to lure them away from my Padawan Trilla. She stayed behind with the younglings, but they caught me. And they tortured me. They wanted to know about the others and how many were left, but mostly they wanted to know about Cordova and where he went. But you escaped. Yeah. It was a prison riot. I saw my opportunity and I took it. But they almost broke me. And I am not the same as I was, Cal. Your Padawan. Did she survive? No. But that 
That's why we can't give up. We can't let the sacrifice of those closest to us be for nothing. <laughs>